what's up Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how to's. Today is an Artist Alley episode. I have a whole bunch of fan-made creations laid out in front of me, which I will unbox and review for you. I'm also going to be checking out some vintage toys that I found locally at a comic book shop. And I also got some fan mail, which I'm so excited about. So I'm going to be unboxing all of those for you here today. As usual, if you enjoy Sailor Moon unboxings and reviews, don't forget to subscribe and make sure to like and comment on this video if you enjoyed it. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the artist alley part of this video. So I will start with this creation, which was made by my friend on Twitter. Her name is Medusa and she has her own Etsy store. I love that she uses this Sailor Moon print for her mask. The mask does have a metal piece up at the nose, so you can clasp it around your nose and it fits really good. So for example, I could wear this over to some of the local places that require masks indoors and it fits really good. So I'm quite happy with this mask and I can't wait to wear it out. Now, if you are interested in any of these items and they still are available online, I will definitely put the links down below in the description for this video. Let's go ahead and unbox a pin next. So this pin is from Pretty Geeky Pins. You may remember Pretty Geeky Pins because I did an unboxing of one of their pins on a previous Artist Alley episode as well. This one I purchased and I gotta say, this design is very much more Disney princess inspired. It definitely has that art feel to it. It is full on enamel. This one features all of the five inner Sailor Senshi and it's a very large pin. The back says Moonies LE50. This is so cute and I feel like they have a lot of sass in this picture. What do you think? Now this next box of pins are some that I had backed on Kickstarter. So again, this was a purchase. These pins were purchased from Laws Goddess Nairu. So these were the pins that I chose to back on Kickstarter. First, you have the kaleidoscope up here. This is like the manga version. I also have the compacts for Sailor Moon and Chibi Moon. And we also have this really cute like stuffed toy Elios, which I thought was adorable. You'll notice that there's a little bit of glitter in the kaleidoscope and these smaller ones also feature some glitter in them as well. This Moonlight Dreamer series also featured a couple of other pins that I can share with you. These were also the ones that I backed on Kickstarter. This first one is really cool because it spins and it features the inner Sailor Senshi transformation wands. So you'll notice there's also some glitter in this one as well. And it has three pieces. There's a solid back, the front piece and the intersection, which turns. So when I turn it, you can see each of the different wands. I think that's so cool in such a neat, unique pin. So it was definitely one that I wanted to get my hands on. And this is how the back is made. Lastly is this pin that features Princess Serenity and Queen Nehalania. And this one has a pearlescent vibe going on in the backgrounds for the mirror, as well as some of the external colors. Very, very pretty. Again, a very detailed pin. I love how she made the moon in the background really pearlescent. I think it looks so pretty. And these cuties are just little add-ons. So I got the Eternal Tiara, a moon stick right here, kaleidoscope, and the kaleidoscope just like the pen. These are so pretty. Moving on, why don't we open this big one in the middle? Okay, so a small story behind this one. I actually saw one of these on Sailor Tortilla's Instagram page, which if you aren't following Sailor Tortilla on YouTube and Instagram, you definitely should be. She's hilarious and amazing. So this is called a Surikawa, and you can use one of these, for example, in your car or on a bus to hold on to the handles in case you're shorter like I am. I feel like this would have been very useful in San Francisco and I had to take the BART trains all the time because I didn't want to touch the handles that were really grimy and gross. So I would have loved to have one of these that I could snap into place and hold on to on the train. Now, of course, this is made out of acrylic, so it's not going to be as sturdy as something that's made out of metal, for example, but this is also a leather strap. So I'm intending to put this in the car so that whenever I'm in the passenger seat and my husband's choosing to drive crazy, I can hold on to it and use it as an oh shit handle. It was fully customizable, so I chose this cherry blossom design 
design with the colors, and I also chose the design for the strap. My favorite characters, of course, are Sailor Moon, Pluto, Saturn, and Mars. So I put Sailor Moon, Saturn, and Pluto on the strap. I think it's a really pretty design, and I love how detailed the strap looks. You can actually see a lot of the detail in the drawings, and I really love the bottom piece for the Surikawa. I think it's so pretty, and I love that I chose these colors. Kat also sent along this really adorable Sailor Mars keychain, which is so cute. Oh, and this is actually resin, not acrylic, so I just want to correct myself there. These are made by Kat's Creations. I will put her link down below in case you're interested in checking these out. Okay, I think it's time to unbox my biggest haul over here, which is from Nerdy Girl Pins. So she sent these along to get featured on the channel. Oh my gosh, there are so many pins here. Nerdy girl pins, you outdid yourself. These are incredible. Okay, so uh, where should I start? Ah, oh, there's so many. I will start with this one, which was one I was really looking forward to checking out. So this one features Usagi and Chibi Usa in their princess dresses in the clouds with a crescent moon in the background. I love the glitter in the clouds. I love the adorable faces. And I really love the pearlescent moon in the background too. That's very, very pretty. How sweet is that pen? Wouldn't that be cute for like Mother's Day? Next, we have a couple new ones from the Guardian Goddesses series. So this is a series that she created. I do have a couple of these pens already and this is the newest one to add to my collection, which is Sailor Pluto, one of my favorites. So here we have Sailor Pluto. She's got glitter packed behind her and she has some beautiful flowers on her head as a crown. She looks gorgeous. I love that. If you're familiar with pop sockets that you stick on the back of your phone, these are so useful. She actually made pop sockets too. So here is a pop socket of Sailor Moon from the Guardian Goddesses series. Okay, moving on from there, we also have a whole slew of new ones for the Transformation series from Nerdy Girl Pins as well. So we have the Inner Sailor Senshi to add to the collection. Wow, these look so cool all together. Look at the colors, they're so vibrant. I love the glitter. I love it, it looks incredible. And I love that each of them have really cool stances. Like Sailor Jupiter's is very unique on there. Just look at how cool these look. I love the colors, they're so vibrant. Beautiful work, nerdy girl pins. I love these. So this one is cool of Luna, and this is also in the same kind of stance for the Transformation series. Her entire dress is full of glitter, really, really pretty. There's also some trans lucency going on for her legs here. So it's a different color. So you can kind of see through the toll at the bottom of her dress. I think that's a very nice feature for this pin. Makes it unique. So here we have Luna looking gorge. And last for this transformation series, I also got Sailor Cosmos. Oh my God. I love Sailor Cosmos. This is so cool. Her cape is full on glittery in the background. I think it looks amazing. How cool does Sailor Cosmos look? Wow, that's beautiful. This is a very cute keychain designed by Nerdy Girl Pins. And this features basically the bedspread design that we see in Usagi's bedroom. And cute thing about this keychain too, it has a little star at the top as opposed to a regular key ring. So cute. Last for the nerdy girl Sailor Moon pins, we have, this is one of my favorites, it's called the Freaky Friday pin. <laughs> this one was on my wish list. It features Usagi and Chibiusa from the Supers series. You did see this scene in Sailor Moon Eternal as well. She even included comic book font when they are saying Usagi and Chibiusa. And I love that they are designed around the manga versions of the characters. So you can definitely see that in their eyes on this picture. It came out really good. This is one of my faves, so cute. Nerdy Girl Pins was also kind enough to send me a couple of her Zelda pins too. Uh, Zelda is another thing that I like to collect a lot of items from. So these are going to go in that collection. So here we have a really cool Zelda terrarium featuring the Master Sword and, and we have some fairies up there, which is so cute. And then we have Zelda, Princess Zelda. So pretty. Are these magnets? Oh, 
They are, that's so cool. These are magnets, couple of drawings, beautiful drawings I might add. Gorgeous, postcard size magnets. And she also sent over a copy of her Freaky Friday postcard as well. So Elaine or Nerdy Girl Pins was kind enough to also send over a coupon code for me to share on this channel. So if you watch this channel and if you're interested in any of her pins, you can go over to her social media for all of the sales information and use the coupon code SNUBS15 that's S-N-U-B-S-1-5 for 15% off. Thank you so much, Elaine. That's amazing. I'm so happy that I'm able to pay it forward to everybody that watches this channel and give them a coupon code that they can use for your beautiful pins. So thank you so much for the support and I really appreciate it. Let's... Let's move on to the next Artist Alley creator. Okay, so this next one, I actually had a buddy who was able to order it for me because I missed out on the pre-sales and in-hand pins. That happens a lot and it's mostly because I'm very busy in my life and I don't have time to sit on Instagram and wait for a drop. So oftentimes I find that I miss out on pins which is very unfortunate because I want to support creators, but if they're not easily accessible, then I can't support them. Pin makers, please make your pins more accessible to people that are super busy and can't be on Instagram for drops because it sucks whenever I miss out on pins. I really want to throw money at you and I can't because do more pre-orders. I don't mind waiting months and months for pins. Like, please make these things happen so that we can actually order pins. So this pin is by a designer called Yozora Studios. So this is a very large pin featuring Usagi and she's, looks like she's transforming. She's got these beautiful wings in the background. This one does feature glitter colored ribbons and I thought it was gorgeous. So I really wanted to add it to my collection again. So there's a close up of the Yozora Studios pin featuring Usagi with the wings in the background. So since I'm on the discussion of Cosmic Skies pins, AKA Yozora Studios, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some ones that I did order from Cosmic Skies pins back before they did the name change as well. So here's another one from Yozora Studios. And this was one of the ones that was pretty easily accessible. So I was able to order it on my own time, which was wonderful. This one features Super Sailor Moon in this gorgeous big full moon behind her absolutely beautiful. I love how colorful all the butterflies are. And the back of this one says Cosmic Skies Pins. Here's a close up with my lighting. As you can see, there is some pearlescence going on, like some swirled pearl color going on in that full moon behind her. And I love that her face looks really unique in this pin. It's a really, really beautiful one. These ones, quite frankly, I could not choose between, so I got both of them. Uh, these both feature Usagi sitting on top of a roof with Luna next to her. It looks like Luna's stretching, very cute. And she's looking up into the sky. Uh, on this one, we have the glitter background for the sky. And then this one features a more translucency. And then we have these two cuties from Yuzora Studios, AKA Cosmic Skies Pins. First, we have one where Sailor Moon is like half and half. First, we have Sailor Moon on one side and then we have Princess Serenity on the other side. Very, very unique pin. Again, something that I thought was very cool. And then we just have this really cute one of Eternal Sailor Moon. What's in here? Oh, yes, I was expecting this one. Super exciting. Okay, so these are from Moon Mama Designs. Moon Mama sent this to me to be featured on the channel and I was so excited because I do already have a few in this line of pins. So I was really excited to add this one to my collection as well. So thank you so much to Moon Mama Designs. This one features Good Girl Galaxia and it looks so cool. I love her hair and I love the background. It's so gorgeous and it looks just like the other pins in this series as well. Look how pretty Galaxia is. Oh my gosh. Moon Mama Designs was also kind enough to send over a pop socket as well. And this pop socket features Eternal Sailor Moon. So here you go. Look at that cute pop socket. It's adorable. Thank you so much, Moon Mama Designs. Designs. This is so cute and I love the Galaxia. She looks amazing. Okay, I only have a few left and I'm really excited to open these as well. So you have seen Sailor Kraken pins on my channel before. These are the newest in the Attack series from Sailor Kraken pins. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue collecting these and purchasing them because I missed out on the Glitter Sailor Jupiter. I did end up purchasing a regular
regular Sailor Jupiter, but she, since she doesn't match and I'm kind of OCD, I would prefer to have a glitter Sailor Jupiter instead. So first we have Sailor Neptune and she looks amazing. I love the glitter in her skirt. That's why I like to collect the glitter pins, not the regular ones. And her attack sequence looks incredible. And here we have Sailor Mercury and she also looks incredible. I think Sailor Kraken pins did a great job on these. So here they are side by side. I already have Sailor Moon in this collection and then Sailor Jupiter, the regular version is on her way to me. It really sucks whenever you actually have the time on Instagram to sit there and wait for a product drop and then you have an item in your cart and then you get cart swiped. For example, I had Glitter Sailor Jupiter standard and seconds in my cart and both times she got swiped. So I didn't get a chance on either of them. And I was so disappointed. I still ended up purchasing the regular one, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, so moving on, these are a couple more that I had purchased. So these are from Smurfy Art or Barbara D Designs. I love this transformation sequence of Sailor Moon. And this is a beautiful pen. It's done really, really well, very highly detailed. And we have to talk about this one. Look at Usagi in her dress. Look at Mamoru, oh my gosh, they look incredible. Her dress is glittery, as you can see here. Her face is done really well, lots of detail going on there. Really gorgeous work. I don't know y'all, with all these big pins coming in, I feel like I need to invest in another pin board. <laughs> I'm running out of space. So thank you Smurfy Art, AKA Barbara, for making it so easy for me to purchase those pins and support your small business. I absolutely love them. They are so pretty. This is a headphone holder. Some cute stickers were included in this order as well as a cute little drinkster with Luna at the top of it. That's cute and totally unique, adorable. I have some, let's see, some super glue. So it looks like I do have to put it together myself. Wow, that's pretty. Check Check that out. I know it's very reflective. That's kind of what I was going for. The bottom has cork, which is really cool. So this is by Pearls and Arts Studio. This is a headphone stand that you can use for like your gaming headphones. It looks like I just need to attach it here and then add some super glue so that it sticks together just fine with no issues. So I ordered this headphone stand off of Etsy a while back. It looks like the price was $75 and I got the silver version. And Amy is the one behind this on IG or Instagram. She is Pearls and Arts. So this is made out of acrylic and it is designed to look like Sailor Moon's moon stick. Previously, I had built my own computer on NVIDIA's GeForce channel because I used to host on NVIDIA's channel and do like interviews and stuff like that for them. So they decided to do a collaboration with me where we built a Sailor Moon themed PC tower. And I decided for my desktop to make the entire thing Sailor Moon themed. Uh, it's not in here. It's actually in my studio downstairs where I film all my tech videos for my tech channel. I thought this would be perfect for that since it is a gorgeous headphone stand that's based on Sailor Moon and it would totally match with my theme that I have going on on my editing studio desktop. I think she did a lovely job with that. The work put into these acrylic stands is really, really nice. They feel nice and thick nice and durable, so it doesn't feel like it's gonna break or snap apart on me. There's a lot of extra pieces of acrylic in the center going right here to hold it together, and it's it's thick pieces of acrylic. It's not really thin. So I don't think I'm gonna have any issues with this, and I'm really excited to set it up. Look how pretty this is with the candle behind it. See that glow? Isn't that cool? It just looks so pretty. Okay, so that was my headphone stand that I had purchased off Etsy. Moving on, we have the last package over here, which is from, I believe this one is from Disney Rye. So I've been a longtime customer of Disney Rye on Instagram. He doesn't have an online shop. He does the Instagram drops for his enamel pins. So I did reach out to him to get the rest of the guardians in my Sailor series that he has created so far. I also purchased an additional pin and he sent me a gift. So I'm very excited to show these to you and feature them on the channel. Uh, Disney Rye was pretty much the pin creator that got me into pin collecting way back in the day. So I'm very excited to be able to share these. All right, so I had missed out on these during my hiatus from Sailor Moon collecting last year, but I'm very excited that he had a few additionals left over. So I was able to purchase these. I have Sailor Neptune and Sailor Uranus, which go along with the rest of the line. I had also purchased Sailor Pluto in this line. 
when that one dropped on Instagram. I really appreciate that he had plenty of inventory so I wasn't panicking when it dropped. This gorgeous piece was one of the ones that I reached out to him about to see if I could grab one. And luckily he did have some, so I was able to get one. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about it. This is beautiful. I love the glitter. I love their faces on this pin. Very well designed and well constructed too. It is a double pin. There's two pieces, two layers. So the moon is on the back layer and then you have Princess Serenity and Princess Small Lady Serenity on the top layer. So the only one missing out of the Sailor Guardians from Disney Rye that I have now is Sailor Saturn. And I don't think I have Chibi Moon. Oh yeah, okay. I'm missing Chibi Moon as well. So Chibi Moon and Saturn. And then that will finish up that collection, that series. This was a holy grail. I thought that I would never get a chance to grab one, but Disney Rye gifted this to me to share with y'all on the channel. So I'm incredibly thankful that he had one available that he was able to send me, but also like, I never thought I would be able to have one. So I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited. Can't even tell y'all. When this released, I was just like, yeah, that's a holy grail. I would never be able to grab one of those. And I just, I didn't even try because I had no hope. He sent me one and I'm just, I'm still speechless that he actually had one available for me. So thank you so much, Disney Rye. This is gorgeous. This is the heaviest pin I have. It's huge. It belongs on, on its own pin board. This thing is gigantic. I've never had a pin that's this big. Again, it's two layers. You got the bottom layer with the Sakura flowers and then the top layer with the Sailor Senshi. This is based off of manga art. I'm so, so, so happy that I have one in hand now. I mean, it's as big as my head. <laughs> This pin is absolutely beautiful and Disney Ride did such a good job with the creation. It's so detailed and it is just gorgeous. And also check out the back with the Sailor Moon logo. That's just so cool. It's so pretty, I could stare at it all day. But we have more to share on today's video. So I am going to wrap up the Artist Alley part of this video and move on to the next segment, which is the vintage toys that I found locally. So I had moved to Denver, Colorado last year in early 2020, and I was not sure if there were any local like comic book stores or anywhere where I could find vintage goods. Luckily, a few people on Twitter reached out and let me know that there are some local shops that you can check out just in case you're looking for some vintage goods. So Mile High Comics is found here in Denver, Colorado, and I was unsure if they would have anything, but uh, they did have a few vintage toys, so I was able to grab a few things. They also had a few of the Sailor Moon A-graded, uh, the short comics, the larger ones from the 1990s, but they were overpriced for the perfect condition ones, especially when you can find the same condition online via resellers, just not officially graded. So I skipped that. I focused on the toys and I got some really cute ones. So I'm going to show you those. Not Sailor Moon, but this is a Hayao Miyazaki sticker and it was so cute. I couldn't pass it up. So as far as the vintage items go, they had plenty of items there to choose from. All of them were decently priced, so no issues. Uh, first off, I did find a couple of these cute little keychains. I do have these keychains out of the wrapper that I I had purchased myself in the 90s, but they had these in the wrapper in perfect condition. So I decided to get a couple just for my collection that will never go out of the wrapper. Now, according to the packaging, these are from 1998. So I guess we're vintage now. <laughs> this really cute sticker is also one of those items that I had when I was a kid and then I don't know what happened to it, but they had one, so I decided to purchase it. There is a little bit of sun damage going on on this one. It's a little bit easier to tell on the back stickers, but still in the wrapper and still quite good condition. These are a couple of clear files that they had, which were in used condition, both very inexpensive as well. It looks like they are from 1992 and they are somewhat opaque, so you can see through them, but they featured some really cute art. And here's the second clear file. Very cute. Now this last item is super weird, but it's one of those like strange oddities that we got here in America. And this is in great condition. It's never been taken out of the box. The box is sealed. So I was like, I want that for my collection of weird American memorabilia. So this is the moon cycle. 
which is not a part of the anime. It's not a part of the manga. We don't know where they came up with the moon cycle, but they made a toy called the moon cycle. And I think it was just like an accessory for the dolls that came out in the 90s. But yeah, we have a moon cycle. <laughs> <laughs> There's the moon cycle. They had two of these. The other one was not in good condition and they both cost the same price. So I got the one that was in the best condition possible. The box is still sealed. The product looks like it's in brand new condition. And this box does feature that old Sailor Moon logo, which is so, so cool. And here on the back, there is some art of the original 1990s American dolls. This was made in 1996 and it says you can watch it on YTV. <laughs> this has got to be the weirdest thing I have in my collection now. <laughs> Just look at it. It's so weird. They also had a bunch of posters. So I did pick up a poster as well. And I think that was it for Mile High Comics. So the next item is fan mail. <gasps> so I do have a PO box that I use to get PR packages for my tech channel, or I use it to like get shipments from Etsy if I don't want to give out my home address. And I happened to get a few different pieces of fan mail in the last couple of months, which are never expected. And it's not the reason why I got a PO box, but it was a very nice surprise. So I did want to say a huge thank you to the folks that sent me this fan mail. And I wanted to feature it in this video because it's important to me. And whenever I open things like this, it always like makes me tear up a little bit because when you do videos on YouTube, you never know if people are actually watching them or if they care. And receiving like letters in the mail with like a cute little item is just, it makes you feel good inside. It makes you feel like you're making a difference, even if it's just like a weird Sailor Moon YouTube channel or whatever it might be. So this is the fan mail that I got. I'm not gonna read this on air, but this is from Ashley. So Ashley sent me this adorable picture picture of her from one of her visits to Japan. She also sent me some really cute stationery, which I can use for my own letters. So thank you, Ashley. And one of the really interesting things that she sent me are these really cool, I think they're pencil boards. So there's three vintage pencil boards, which do include a toy sticker on them. So these are like real, the real deal. I've never seen these before and I was so excited to see them. So these are originally from, let's see, doesn't have a date on the back, but given that these are 1990s art styles, then I would assume that they are also vintage from the 90s. But here's the first pencil board, features Super Sailor Moon in the inner senshi. The back of it has a bunch of chibi characters, so cute. This one features Eternal Sailor Moon, and on the back we also have some Eternal Sailor Moon art. And then we have all of the senshi, all of the Sailor Guardians on this last pencil board. And the back features some really pretty art of the inner Sailor Guardians. So these are going in my collection. Thank you so much, Ashley. I thought these were amazing. And next we have something that I just got in the mail a couple of days ago. So these are from David, who's been watching some of my tech videos since way back in the day. I started in 2008 and based on the shows that he was watching, it sounds like he's been watching since 2008. So thank you for following my content for such a long time. And he mentioned that he was decluttering and downsizing over the weekend, came across these binder folders that he picked up in 1995 from Walmart. So here are the binder folders, which if these were at my Walmart in Missouri when I was a kid, I would have freaked out. I would have purchased these immediately, but they never had any Sailor Moon inventory at my local Walmart. It was such a bummer. So I'm really excited about these because these are like one of those things I would have died to have when I was a child. These are really cool too. They are licensed from 1995 and these are legitimate products that you could have gotten as a American kid back in the 1990s. So here we have one featuring Venus and Jupiter at the top and the inner Sailor Senshi. The inside has a very cool binder aspect to it. I love the squiggly cardboard cutout here. And you also have Sailor Moon right there and the logo. Then we have Sailor Mercury featured prominently on this one with the Guardians featured on the side in their normal clothes as well as tuxedo mask at the bottom. And then we have the same inner design. This one just features Sailor Moon on the front and the back. Then we have one of our favorite images from the 1990s Sailor Moon anime. Again, another very famous piece of artwork, which also has the logo on the front. 
front. And lastly, we have Sailor Moon and Luna featured on this binder. Very, very cute. I love this folder. These are in really good condition for being from 1995. So I promise David, I will also keep them in very good condition as well. <laughs> All right, last, definitely not least, is something that was offered to me on Twitter by Queer Dad. I obviously accepted because I've never had something this cool and this is very, very cool. Uh, this is from one of my viewers who originally went to KatsuCon and this was given out at KatsuCon during, I guess, during some event, I guess that Naoko was there for. Now I don't have all of the information behind this piece. So if you know more, please do share it with me because I would love to know if this is a legitimate signed autograph or if it is a print. Here we have a, it's a cardboard art piece. So it's just a cardboard piece of art. On the back, it says Sailor Moon. It has a really pretty manga logo, like the ones that you would see in the art books. And on the front, we have this gorgeous picture that features Super Sailor Moon. And down at the bottom is Naoko Takeuchi's signature. Now, when I feel it, it definitely feels like there's a signature there. It's shiny compared to the rest of it, which is relatively matte. So it looks like a legitimate autograph, but I would love to know more. So if you have any additional information about this piece, please let me know. What do y'all think? What do you think? Well, that was a lot of stuff. Artist Alley, vintage, and some fan mail as well. So if you want to learn anything about any of these products, I will definitely put links down below to them so you can also support these small businesses that were featured today. Again, thank you so much to the creators who chose to send me items to be featured on this channel. I truly appreciate it and it's so cool. I'm so happy that I'm able to use my platform to support other small businesses. I'm a full-time creator, so technically I'm also a small business, even though I don't sell any merchandise. <laughs> I do videos. <laughs> so if you want to support my small business, you can subscribe, like, and comment on this video. And I will be right back with more. I'm filming a whole bunch of videos. I'm so excited to show you them. I have tons of boxes to get through, so I'm going to go ahead and get over to those. Thanks for watching. Johnny.